can, baby. For a reason. Top one this time. CBW. I mean, there's a lot to say that has already been said. I mean, there's been chaos all among this roster. Every step you take, there's drama. So allow the real United States champion to be your bit of comic relief in this time of just odd shit happening. I mean, we got a guy running around calling himself a world champion. Do you, does a world champion bicker like that? Does a world champion whine like that? Define me a world champion because I know one when I see one and you are not a world champion, Blaze. I just want to get that out of the way. And I'm going to say this because it's honestly true. I think Bacon could have been a better world champion than you. I mean, I could list a, a giant list of names that could have been better than you because you don't have what it takes. You steal people's shit. You think you're better than everyone else. Your ego is getting the best of you. And in your times that your ego has gotten the best of you, you have taken things from people, move sets, their names, and more importantly, their catchphrases. You, my friend, have decided to come out here and call yourself the real backbone of the backyard. When we all know, pillar to post, bell to bell, I am the best professional wrestler in CBW today. There is nothing stopping me. I am the backbone of the backyard, and there's nothing you or anyone else here can do about it. Now let's get to the real task at hand. Last time you saw me on your screen, it was a pay-per-view. It was me and Nike, one-on-one. -on -one. The first time I had ever, you know, had a match with this guy. I didn't know whether I was going to win or lose. I didn't do my research, but I still came out with the victory. I walked out with this championship over my shoulder, proving to everyone at home why I am the U.S. champ. And I'm not doing it for me, and I'm not doing it for Nike, and I'm not doing it for the scrummy general managers that run this place. I am doing it for you. You shouldn't have to endure this, and I shouldn't have to endure the pain and suffering that the loss continues to bring on me. While everyone was celebrating the 4th of July, you know what I was doing? You want to know what I was doing? I was rehabbing my neck and rehabbing my ribs. I was hurt. I was in a whole hell of a lot of pain, but I had a whole lot of time to think about it. Them putting me down and then putting me in my place where they think I belong is exactly what has kept me going from day one. They think this is gonna stop me. No, it is only adding fuel to the fire. David Bruce, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I want you. I want you one-on-one -on -one in this ring for this championship because you're worthy of it, but you don't see it. There's too much going through your head. They're filling you with lies. You could be big, but you have everyone to back you up. And that's the problem. You see, I want you one-on-one, -on -one. no interference from the lost. Show how good you really are. And if you really think you can beat me, oh, come on. Where's this guy one, huh? You gonna try to bash my brains in, huh? You got the baseball bat and everything. Sure. Then why are you out here? people what they want.
I don't know what you think you're going up against, but consider this challenge accepted. See you in the main event. Well, it's settled then. See y'all there.